Let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to the movies and have ourselves some fun. Let's go. Good morning and happy almost weekend movie mom. Thanks for talking to us a little early. We're on the road tomorrow, so we appreciate it. It's my pleasure. I am excited to talk to you about the movies this week, starting with Pan, which is the prequel to Peter Pan. It looks gorgeous. My dearest Peter, I long for the day that I can come back for you and explain everything. You are extraordinary, more than you can imagine. I promise that you will see me again in this world or another. Or another. It's not that good, and I just want to caution parents that a lot of people die. They don't die in, like, a grisly way. It's rated PG, but they explode in a puff of smoke, and some of the fairies die, and a child is thrown off of a boat. So you might want to have a little caution there. I wouldn't take anybody under, say, age 8 to this. I just thought it was just so-so. It's gorgeous to look at, but not that good. The Walk expands this week to regular theaters, but if you want to see the movie, you need to see it in the IMAX 3D because that's, like, the whole point. Bring a vomit bag. Just in case. All right. Also this week, we've got Big Stone Gap, which is just a sweet kind of cuddly, fun movie based on the series of books. Ashley Judd stars as a 40-year-old pharmacist whose life sort of turns upside down when her mom dies and she finds out for the first time that her father is not the guy that she thought. She's 40. Is she going to find love? Well, she's got good friends played by Whoopi Goldberg and Jenna Elfman. It's just kind of a sweet, fun story. One funny thing that happens in the movie and did happen in real life in the real town of Big Stone Gap, Virginia, is that Elizabeth Taylor visited the town. This is 1978 when her then husband was running for the Senate in Virginia and she choked on a chicken bone. You might remember John Belushi making fun of that. So that yes. happens in this movie too. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Also this week we've got Free Held based on the true story which became an award-winning documentary about a 23-year veteran cop in New Jersey who finds out that she's dying of cancer and wants her domestic partner to get her pension benefits as she would if they were a heterosexual couple. Julianne Moore and Ellen Page as the couple. They are absolutely terrific. Steve Carell and Michael Shannon, and just a really moving story. Really well done. That Julianne Moore, boy, she can do just about anything. All right. We also have Magic Mike XXL on DVD this week. Silly fun. I'm just going to say the scene in the convenience store. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, also this week, one of Disney's all-time best, Aladdin, out in a gorgeous new diamond edition. So you got a lot of good choices. Next week, we're going to be talking about Tom Hanks in the new Steven Spielberg movie. You know when the two of them get together, it's always something good, and I love this. I've seen it already. It's Bridge of Spies. So well done. Now we're going to be talking about the Goosebumps movie, which I've also seen, which is a lot of fun. Things are picking up. Well, here's the scoop. Next week, we start our annual fundraiser for breast cancer. So if all the equipment works, we'll talk to you next week, movie mom. (laughs) That sounds absolutely great. I'm so happy that you're supporting this important work. You can catch this interview up at WJBQ.com, where we always have a link to moviemom.com. Have a great weekend, and hopefully we'll we'll talk to you next week, movie mom. All right, (laughs) bye-bye. Bye.